the end of another year on the Ladies European Tour, full of stories. And after Charlie Hull won the opener in Abu Dhabi, we headed down under. And honorary Aussie Marianne Skartnord clinched the win in beautiful surroundings at Bonville. Megan McLaren was next to get that winning feeling at the New South Wales Open, keeping her crown for her second LET title. To South Africa and an historic win for a young rookie. Diksha Dagar taking professional golf in her stride as she picked up her first win in Cape Town. The Indian with her dad on the bag, the first deaf player to win an LET title. And another first in Jordan, a new event and a breakthrough in equality with the men and women sharing an equal playing field. McLaren did the LET proud, but in the end it was Dutchman Darius Van Drill who got his hands on the trophy on Sunday. Back to Africa and to a familiar location, Morocco, a place Nuria Iturios loves playing in. It was in Rabat where she picked up her first ever win back in 2016 and the young Spaniard would do it again, picking up her second Ladies European Tour title. And yet another example of the LET breaking new ground happened in Dubai, a day-night event and it was Iturios once again who lit up the skyline with victory number three and a trophy almost as big as her. Then another new event in Spain, in Soto Grande, just down the road from Gibraltar. And Celine Urban rocked up and took the title. Urban with this birdie opportunity at the 71st hole. Whoa. She's got it. Brilliant. There was another first-time winner at the Jabra Ladies Open at the stunning Evian layout. Annabelle Dimmock taking it by just a single shot. We then headed east to the Land of Smiles, Thailand. Pattaya playing host and a certain Ataya Titikul smiled her way to the home title for the second time at the age of just 16. Ataya Titikul announcing herself yet again on the world stage. What an incredible talent she is. Major time next and the Evian Championship and Jin Young Ko continued her incredible year, taking her second major, following up her Anna Inspiration win. At Wobin though, it was Japan's Hinaka Shibuno who charmed her way to a first major win at the Women's British Open, a trophy won so memorably the year before by Georgia Hall. We remained in the UK and headed north to the home of golf, Scotland and the Renaissance Club. The weather delivered and so did Mi Jung He. Oh, but no trouble right at the flag. What a shot that is. The shot of a champion from Mi Jung He. Finishing it in style. Her winning the ASI Ladies Scottish Open by four shots in the joint LET LPGA event. It was a little warmer in the Czech Republic and a return to winning ways for Carly Booth. After a top 10 in her homeland, Booth continued her good form for her third title of her career. And then it was the big one, the Solheim Cup at Glen Eagles, and it produced a modern fairy tale for Katrina Matthews' side. Suzanne Pettersson writing the final line of an unbelievable story. She's done it. It's victory for Europe. The most remarkable conclusion. Matthew leading Europe to Solheim glory, the trophy back in European hands for the first time since 2013. Plenty of champagne there, but it was wine country next for the LET as we headed to Bordeaux for the Lacoste Ladies Open de France. And it was one of the stars of the Solheim, Nelly Corder, who picked up from where she left off with a vintage performance and her first win on this tour. And then to one of the favorite events of the season, the Australia Dam Mediterranean Open in Sitges. And it was a popular win for the locals as Carlotta Siganda, so cruelly denied the title here two years ago, got redemption. He's done it this time after the uh, team glory in Scotland at the Solheim Cup a couple of weeks ago. She's back in the winner's circle. Talking of redemption, there was plenty of that in India at the DLF club. Christine Wolf, who lost her title in such cruel fashion the year before, produced the most popular win of the season, thanks to a classy display.
the Austrians' first victory, and richly deserved. Back to Spain for the third time this season, and to Andalusia. It looked as if Nana Madsen would be the one smiling on the final day, but her hopes were sunk on the final hole. Oh dear. It allowed Anne Van Dam, the defending champion, to regain her trophy and a remarkable third win in Spain in two years. Finally then to Africa and the land of safari, Kenya. And the 2018 Rookie of the Year, Julia Engstrom, really turned it on at Vipingo Ridge. But Esther Henselite, knowing she needed the first victory of her career if she was to deny Mariam Skartnod the Order of Merit title, exploded into life in the final round. Should move a little bit right to left on her. Go, 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 go! Yeah! Well, what a front nine that is. What a young star she is. Another dramatic finish in a year of memorable moments on tour. What stories will be written in 2020?